X-ray glass software enables deaf people to see speech by turning audio into visuals. Joining me now to explain is Dan Scarf, the founder and CEO of X-ray glass. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. This almost seems too good to be true. This is really cool, right? So what exactly is X-ray glass announcing and who's going to benefit from this? So back in August, uh, we announced the public preview of this software and invited people from around the world to experience it for the first time. We had over a thousand people sign up to be part of this pilot. Um, there were a good few dozen that were able to experience it. And we've been working tirelessly with them night and day leading up to today, where we are so excited to announce the general availability of the X-ray glass software. So as of now, anybody can go out and buy these Enreal Air uh, glasses. They can then go to the Google Play Store, download our application and enjoy life subtitled. Wonderful. And you're also unveiling real-time language translation. How cool is that? Tell us about that. That's true. So um, one of the consistent bits of feedback that we got from our pilot users was, this is great if we're all speaking English. Um, but, you know, what if we want to speak other languages? Um, so we're announcing today support for multilingual transcription. So you can now capture conversations in up to nine different languages. But we've then gone a step further and also announced translation between those languages as well. So now you could be having a conversation with anyone speaking any of those languages and it would translate it in real time to your mother tongue and display that on the glasses as well. Wow. And there's also a personal AI assistant function, right? You say, hey, X-Ray, that sounds pretty cool too. And who can all benefit from that? Absolutely. And so this is one of the most groundbreaking parts of technology that we are releasing today. Um, so now imagine that we've been wearing these glasses for a few days or a few weeks. We've got all of those transcriptions stored safely on the phone, not in the cloud. Imagine we then wanted to be able to query them. Imagine we wanted to say things like, hey, X-Ray, um, could you summarize the conversation that we've just had? And all of a sudden now this has gone from an hour long conversation to a you know, couple of sentence summary or, hey, X-Ray, what was the name of the person that we were just talking about? And an ability to pull out specific pieces of information or even just general knowledge. You know, hey, X-Ray, what's the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality? And we've now got access to these incredible large language models that you're able to ask any question you like and get a sensible answer back. So X-ray glass will probably be the first time anybody has ever experienced this kind of AI before. Right. And you first launched the app for people who are deaf or hard of hearing in July. Uh, what has interest been like? So our pilot was very much focused around those deaf uh, users to begin. Um, the reactions we've had have been everything from, you know, people breaking down in tears to people jumping for joy to people just in complete bewilderment about where's this technology been my whole life. But the most interesting thing has in fact been, you know, the number of other conditions that we can help with. Um, you know, we've had users who have um, conditions such as CAPD, uh, Central Audio Processing Disorder, where you can hear perfectly, you just can't process. We've been working with users who have ADHD, for instance, again, can hear fine, but just have uh, an inability to be able to absorb information. So a combination of both being able to read the subtitles, but also to be able to refer back to the history of the entire conversation, uh, you know, we think is going to open this software for far more users use cases and that's before you even talk about translation and of course anybody traveling to a foreign country might want to use that. Yeah this seems like a game changer for a ton of people so where can people download the software and get access to the augmented reality glasses? So uh, the best place to go is our website which is xr ai.glass. In case you were wondering, the XR is extended reality and the AI is artificial intelligence. So we're combining those two things together to create X-ray glass. But if you go to our website on the home page, you will see a big link to download the app from the Google Play Store. And then if you go to the products page next to that, you will see a, a link to Amazon where you can download these glasses uh, and also a couple of the microphones that we recommend for the best performance. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for telling us all about it today. Thank you for having me. 
Of course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.